glue bridge. Lie down on your back. Bring your feet backward towards you, bending the knees until your feet are flat on the ground and your shins are nearly vertical to the ground. Your heels will be about six to eight inches from your glutes. As a gauge, stretch out your arms next to you and try to touch your heels. Your feet are hips width apart with the knees lined up between the hips and feet. Position your arms in one of three places, either by your sides, across the chest, or hands at your hips. Flatten the low back to the ground by tucking the tailbone under you and drawing the belly button into the floor. The back is pinned to the floor and the ribs are folded down like an ab crunch. Your glutes will be slightly off of the floor. Press your heels through the ground as you lift your torso from the squeeze of the glutes. Your weight is supported between the feet and base of the shoulders. Move from the hip socket and do not arch the spine. In the finished position, your knees, thighs, hips, and trunk should form a straight line. Pause and complete a full contraction. Squeeze the butt cheeks together as if trying to crack a walnut. There is no sagging of the hips or relaxing of the glutes. The inner abs and pelvic muscles continue to draw in with tension. The upper abs keep the ribs from flaring up. On the lowering, do not disengage the glutes. Draw the belly button inward and the pelvic floor upward. Lower the body to the floor while keeping the tailbone off the floor and touching the low back to the floor. Inhale on the raise, exhale on the lower. The position of the pelvis determines how much glute you will use. You should not feel the quads or lower back muscles take on tension. If you do, place the forefoot on a small plate or mat to tip you back into the heels. Work to rotate your tail under and press the hip socket upward further than you think.